Hello, hello, Kelly Schaffner here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a Goodwill Dollar Day haul. I went to the Goodwill on Monday, which is the day that they have a 99 cent tag. And it can be difficult to find that color tag, but they also have the color of the week at 50%. So I was looking on this day for red tags and yellow tags. Red tags were half price and spoiler alert, I picked up one pair of shoes that, oh, and a bag that were red tags. So I got one handbag half price and one pair of shoes half price. I did pick up one pair of shoes full price, but I did have my husband with me. So we were able to get the veterans discount. I am only sharing the bag and the clothes that I found. I found 11 pieces. That is all at 99 cents, but because I paid up for some items, my average cost per piece is $1.89. I spent $30 and I also bought a power cord for myself. I lost my power cord for my Instapot and I was going to order one on Amazon and my husband, who doesn't care for women's clothing, thrifting women's clothing. He walked around the thrift store and he found the power cord. We paid $3.99 for the power cord, less the veterans discount, so like $3 for the power cord. Long story short, everything in this haul is $1.89. When that shoe haul video goes live, I will point out to you which shoes I picked up at the Goodwill. I'm going to jump right into this. There's not much. This should be a short video depending on how chatty I am. Okay, I could use your help on this bag, guys. I found this bag. Now, this was a red tag, which meant it was half price. This is a Dooney and Bur I'm showing you. Am I showing you the? Yeah, is that the front? Okay, you're looking at it. You can see it right there. There is a flaw on this bag. I did try to clean this up. I guess this is the front. This bag, as best I could tell, is called the All... Has something to do with tack. And it is listed on several sites as an equestrian bag. It's also listed as a vintage bag. This is what the inside looks like. This is all like a raw leather on the inside. And it looks like that. This is the bottom of the bag. It has a few marks on it. You can see one right there and one right there. But I got this bag. This was the most expensive thing I got. <laughs> and it does have a crossbody strap on it. And I actually put this string around the leather there because it was curling up and I like to store my straps uh, like that so that I, this is not listed yet. I found comps on this bag. This sold on Poshmark, Canadian $75. It sold on eBay for $65. And also there was one, a really super beat up bag identical to this that sold for $35. And the title on that one was used purse. So if you have any thoughts on this bag, should I show you all the compartments? Compartment there. And anyway, I thought it was a great bag. And like I said, I was not able to clean that little spot up. I worked on it with a magic eraser and I thought it might have been uh, just something surface dirt but I felt like I was going to damage it if I did anymore. So number one, this is a bag, $6.48. I got this one for half price. I went through all of the denim. I was really looking for those $1.99 cent tags, and I did pick these up for 99 cents. These are White House Black Market, and they're called the Blanc? I don't know. But they are an eight regular White House Black Market straight leg denim, and they do have a really cool embroidery detail. Maybe I should show it this way. Embroidery detail there, and also on the back pocket. So I thought that was interesting. I am looking to stock my closet with more straight leg styles. So for 99 cents, I thought it was worth giving these a try. Next up, I was so excited to find these. These are by the brand Express. These are also a size eight. They are a size eight long. There is the Express label if you're not familiar. I do sell Express. Uh, clothing in my closet. Look at these. These are the super 
wide leg express denim. They look like this in the back. So there is some fading on them. They're in really good shape. A little bit of wear on the hemline there, which is, I, that's pretty typical. There is no more distressing on these denim, but I was so excited to find a, that's the title of the jeans, the super wide leg denim. Okay, I have to unbutton my jacket already because it's getting hot in here. It is such a good feeling, guys, to see that rack emptying. <laughs> that means it is the items are going into my inventory. This is the next piece I picked up, and I hemmed and hawed about whether or not to get this blazer. I decided to bring it home. It was 99 cents. This is, well, I would probably pick this up at the bins, and this is basically bins pricing on the 99 cent dollar day. So this is a 100% virgin wool Pendleton. Pendleton size 10. Now, I think this is vintage. It does have light shoulder pads in it. It is in pretty good condition. Looks like that. The uh, pockets have never been released. Mostly new blazers will have their pockets stitched shut and you will have to loosen them up, release them to use the pockets. This has never been released, but I don't know if I will be able to find it on one of the sleeves. I did find, I think it's right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there are a couple, it looks like pinholes, and I would have thought they were staple holes on this jacket. They could be moth holes. I don't know, but I did not see that in the thrift store when I picked this up. Would I have purchased it anyway? Probably so, probably at this price. I would have purchased it. I just have to note it in my listing. It's not perfect. This is the next top. This is a woman's top. It actually says woman's on the tag. This is an L.L. Bean. It's the chamois cloth shirt, a button front, chest pockets that button. It's a really thick cotton shirt. It is not a chambray. It's a woman's size large. It looks like this. I don't know why I got this, guys. And I did say, if I can't sell it, it's a size large, I could wear it. But the truth is, I had to ask myself, would I wear this? This really is not my thing. It's it's really a heavy-duty, uh, like, outdoor top. It was 99 cents. And so then I went to Pinterest, and I said, style the L.L. Bean chamois cloth shirt and so this is what I found and I couldn't find many styling tips for this shirt especially not in a solid blue color like the one I found this is 100% cotton but yeah so this is kind of the look that you would get by wearing this shirt this shirt retails for about $50 around $48 $49 Maybe someone's going to want it. I don't know if this was a bad buy. That price tag kind of swayed my decision on purchasing this top. All right, next up we have a sweater. It's a cardigan sweater, a button front, kind of a V-neck cardigan sweater. It's got this change in color, a stripe around the, on the sleeve. I always use the word varsity when there's stripes on the sleeves. This is American Eagle. It's a great size. American Eagle, size extra large. I do pretty good with American Eagle. It's a brand that people are looking for, but I'm sure you can see it right there. It's missing a button, which is not a real big deal. These are pretty basic black buttons but these buttons are branded. So I'm going to have to add a button that is not branded onto this. And yeah, I will stitch a button on there and sell that, but I'm gonna have to note it because of the branding. Yeah, if they weren't branded, you wouldn't even be able to tell. Okay, I like this piece. I like this piece, I'll tell you why. Okay, it's a purple fleece, incredibly soft, Quarter zip fleece by the brand Woolrich. This is a 2XL Woolrich purple. It is so soft. There are no pockets on it. It's just a pullover top that looks like this. But I'll tell you why I am so crazy about this particular piece. 
So there was no lint on it at the thrift store. Now I did bring it home and wash it and it came out of my dryer nearly lint free. Before I photograph it, I always lint roll it. And I mean, a lint does not stick to it. I think that's a real plus. Um, yeah, it's incredibly soft. I was excited to find this. I do like picking up Woolrich, but my luck with Woolrich is similar to Pendleton, to be honest with you. Okay, a Chico's piece. I got this because it's a nice size. This is a size three, which is like a 14, 16, and extra large. This is just a cotton. There's a paisley print on it, three-quarter tab sleeve, really easy to wear, and I think this could be worn all year round. I mean, you would probably want to wear a jacket or a cardigan over it in the colder times, but yeah, this is, this I think is just kind of a staple piece. And another Woolrich piece, this is 100% wool. This is kind of a plum colored, it is textured in the front, full zip, full zip, let me unzip it, full zip, vest. I had seen this one in the thrift store. You can see there it says Woolrich. There is no lining on the inside of this, but I had passed this up. I liked it. It's a size extra large Woolrich. Shall I show you the tag? Woolrich extra large. I didn't want to pay full price for it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of cheap, guys. I really like to keep my cost of goods low, so 99 cents was the perfect price to pay for this 100% wool, wool rich jacket in a super size. Oh my gosh, it is getting so hot in here. It is humid in the desert, which is crazy. And I'm going to talk about the desert rains in my next video. So guys, make sure that you are subscribed and tap the bell because the next video is a more of the story, more of the bin story. I went to the bin. So anyway, I would not have picked this sweater up full price. I would not. And I'll tell you why. Because of the size, this is a 346 Brooks Brothers size extra small. Let me hold it up without my face so you can see that really cool detail around the collar. It's so pretty. This is 100% merino wool. It has zero flaws on it. It's in great shape. People love to wear black. I know that this is a great sweater. I wish it was larger, but for 99 cents, I thought I would bring it home and give it a try. I'm always trying to keep my larger sizes stocked. Those are the sizes that sell best for me. So fingers crossed that I can sell this one. Okay, this next piece is a brand I personally love. This is a Velvet by Graham and Spencer. This is a size medium. It feels like silk, but this is 100% viscose. It's a long sleeve, pop over, split neck top that looks like this. Now the comps are everywhere. They're all over the place for this brand. I found similar tops on Poshmark that sold for about $70. I also found them for $10. I do have other pieces by Graham and Spencer listed in my Poshmark closet and they get very little interest. But this is really pretty. It's got a high-low hem on it, I guess. Yeah, it does. I don't think I put that in my listing. Okay, I've got to change my listing now. This is it. This is the final piece. And I maybe should think about sorting out the pieces that I'm going to share with you so I could always share the best at the last. And you know what? I don't know. This could turn out to be a really super piece. I think it's beautiful. And that is why I brought it home. This is a Chico's. This is a Chico's. I want to share this tag with you. It just says Chico's, right? And then underneath it, it says size large, or extra large. I've never seen a tag like this, but it makes sense. It's not necessarily a one size fits all, but it's definitely a one size fits most. This is kind of a caftan poncho style top. Very, very flowy. I don't even think it's going to fit in the entire frame. It is so beautiful. I am going to put one of my listing pictures right here so you can see how beautiful this top, caftan type top, looks on the mannequin. I think this is such a pretty piece and great for fall. It's got oranges, blues, browns in it, but it's a lightweight, 100% silk. Silk will keep you warm in the winter time, so I do think that this would make a great fall piece. 
I thought this was so beautiful. I couldn't leave it behind. Let me know in the comments, have you seen a Chico size tag like this? Is this something new that they're doing? Did I find a newer Chico's piece? I'm excited about this piece. I know someone is really going to enjoy it. I personally love silk. When you wear silk, the movement is absolutely beautiful and it feels fabulous on your skin as well. So that is everything that I picked up at the Goodwill on dollar days, uh, except for the shoes, which I will be sharing very, very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. And I will see you very soon with, like I mentioned before, the rest of the story. I went to the bins and there's another story attached to that and a pretty decent haul as well. I can't wait to see you again. Blessings.